Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how I took this raggedy ratchet ranking wig ugh, and turned it into this with the silicon mix on. Y'all look at the sheen and the shine and the curls came back. Ooh, and we love the healthy ends. Yes, and I was even able to run my fingers through it. Yes, so y'all, y'all, this wig was so matted. It was insane, but silicon mix comes through every time and I'm about to show y'all how to do it. So all you need first is a sink, a ratted, tatted, magged wig, some shampoo, some conditioner of your choice, and y'all, the silicon mix. I got mine from my beauty supply store for $5.99, and y'all can find it on Amazon as well, or your own beauty supply store for real. Now go ahead and get that wig wet. If you have a straight wig, then try to your best to detangle it dry, but if you can't, go ahead and get it wet because the silicon gonna do it for you, I promise you. I couldn't believe how mad this wig had truly gotten, y'all, and it was taking forever to get wet too. I'm like, hurry up, <laughs> it's doing too much. But yes, go ahead and get your shampoo. I use my Argan Oil shampoo. You can use whatever shampoo or conditioner you wanna use. I just use whatever I had on deck and yeah, it came through. Make sure you really clean and cleanse your wig because the silicone mix is really only just acts as a conditioner. So make sure you shampoo the heck out of your wig, get it clean so that it can be nice and fresh and ready for your silicone. All right, and after you're done cleaning and cleansing, it's time for some conditioner. If you want to, you can skip this step and go straight into the silicone, but I didn't. I used my almond and shea butter uh, conditioner because hey, I needed this, next, this extra step. Y'all saw how matted my wig was. I'm not taking no chances, but it's up to you. You can take your, you can just skip this step and go straight into the silicone or do the shampoo, conditioner, and silicone to really get the best results, but it's up to you. And go ahead and wash with the conditioner and y'all are about to see, even with the conditioner in there, it did not bring the wig back to life. That's what I'm about to say. Silicone mix is about to be your best friend. Look at it. It's still kind of matted. It's still like the, the curls aren't popping, but this is where the silicone mix comes in, y'all. And if you've never used silicone mix, I would describe the texture as like a wet cream. Uh, it's very slippery. It does kind of have a scent to it. Um, it's a little strong when you first apply it on there, but once you rinse it out, you should be perfectly fine. And y'all, there's no rule as to how much or how little you need to put in there. As you see, and I keep putting globs and globs and globs on this hair. I use half of the bag or half of the bottle on this hair and you should too. I mean, do not be afraid to use this truly coat every last strand of your hair. And as you can see right now, I'm like finger detangling and it's already kind of like slipping through. Look at that. I was able to put my fingers through it. What? It's only been two minutes. Like we love to see. So once you're done fully coating your wig, go get your handy dandy plastic bag that I know you have in a drawer or pantry in your kitchen and completely seal it off and tie your wig in there and leave your wig in there for 15 minutes minutes it's up to you if you want to go a little longer a little less but at least 15 y'all and after that I, look y'all hold on the moment the moment you open that bag a brand new wig what the the curls are already starting to pop and i haven't even finished detangling all the way you see how I was able to put a little comb through it? Now, that's when I decided, okay, let me go ahead and start finger detangling while I'm, you know, rinsing it out. Obviously, yes. Next step is to rinse this out of your hair. Rinse it out, make sure that all of it's gone. You're gonna feel your, your wig so soft, so smooth. I don't know what they're putting in this silicone mix for real. I mean, besides silicone, of course. But it's giving what it's supposed to give. Now, right here was at the nape of the back of my neck, y'all. That part was like a dread, and I had to go ahead and um, brush it out, comb it out. And you see how easy it was coming out? Thank you, silicone! Now it's time for styling. I used a lot of body moves. As you can see, I got an ounce left in there, because I be using it up. It, yeah, and I have a lot. I'm really heavy-handed on a lot of my products. That's why I don't be lasting, but anyways. Go ahead and put mousse or whatever styling products that you have for your wig, whether it's curly, straight, wavy, whatever. You know what you gotta do with it. Put your styling products in there and you will truly have a brand new wig. I, look, y'all better leave a comment in the comment section down below if you tried this and you loved it because Silicon Mix gonna come through. Look at that before and after. That's insane, like it's, what? Look at the sleek and shine. Look at the curls for the girls. Come through silicon. It ain't never let me down. Ain't never let me down. I'm running my fingers through the hair. Running my fingers through the hair. But anyways, y'all, this is after it's fully dried. And just look at it. I'm able to, it's able to move. The curls are still popping. It's still tangled. And I love it. It's truly a brand new wig. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.